The next question here is a little deep, uh, so get ready for it. Uh, the question is from Emma Rose Miller. Your genius brain has obviously absorbed a huge amount of myth, story, theory, philosophy, theater, media, etc. In Adventuring Party and Adventuring Academy, you've talked about using those sources for inspiration and as source material. But Worlds Beyond Number is a multiverse. Are you, ro are you worried you will run out of unique material? What do you do when you have hit every genre already? How do you make something new again? Emma Rose Miller, thank you so much for this question. This is a really cool question. I am not... I never grow tired of a genre. Does that make sense? There, I've never been like, I can't see another X kind of movie. Um, you know... It's it's a sort of it's a sort of interesting thing. I think that there's a lot of focus amongst creators on novelty and originality, right? Novelty and originality. How do I reinvent the form? How do I reinvent the form? How do I reinvent the form? Um, and to use a weird food analogy, because I'm always quite hungry. There's a little bit of a thing where people are like, okay, we have pancakes, we have French toast, we have waffles, but you can't just keep making those. How do I make a fourth fluffy kind of breakfast food item and show something that's never been done before? One of the things I used to always advise as an improv teacher is that that type of form breaking, that type of ejecting from genre, that type of like, that type of novelty is always front and center for creators. And in my experience, audiences aren't really looking for a, a fourth type of breakfast fluffy thing. What they're looking for most often is a really amazing pancake because you need to eat breakfast every day. You need breakfast every day. And and we need new stories all the time. And artists are really concerned with form. And like as an audience, and think about, because every creator is also an audience member, right? You also consume media. And it's really funny because I'll be sitting there being like novelty, originality. How do we do something new? And then when I go to the sofa at the end of the day with my fiance, Izzy, I sit down and go like, oh, a new fantasy show. Let's see if it's <laughs> like amazing. Yes. A new pancake! Oh, I love a new pancake! And I do think that artists get really obsessed with form, sometimes to the expense of content. And I don't mean content in the internet parlance. I mean, literally, like, what are you saying? Like, if you go do a story in a magic forest with some swords, and you say something deep from your heart, even if you are expressing a sentiment that has been expressed a thousand times before, you're saying it for the first time. And you will add a level of experience because you're unique. You are No one like you has ever existed before. Um, and I don't know, this is a weird thing to say also, but as someone who spent a lot of time as a teacher, audiences, students, human beings don't mind repetition. Like, there's an element of, like, think about how many stories there have been that say something like, you must stand up against the forces of evil and you must cherish your friends. Think about how many stories hit that message. A, a billion of them. How many of them do I love? 100% of them. How many new ones of them will I watch and go, that's the best thing I've ever seen? Uh, countless. Countless, countless. So... Yes, you should. Yes, novelty and originality and like and expanding. But like, you're never like the the fear hits artists and creators especially hard. Of like, is this new? Is this original enough that it's even worth sharing? And you want to make sure that there is an that. that you have it in hopefully like an interesting take you want to hope but again if you're being authentic to yourself that's the originality you're already unique your collaborators are already unique that's the originality make a good pancake 
make a good pancake because people want the pancake. They really want it, and they need new pancakes all the time. Yes, we do love uh, uh, we do love pancakes. We uh, love pancakes. <laughs> You're sitting there like, uh, ah, uh, could it be a cube, a cube of dough? And people are just like, man, I really wanted a pancake. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. That's my, I, I think a little humility. I think a little humility that like, you don't have to reinvent the form every time. As long as you're doing something from the heart, it will carry the originality of the earnest sentiment of you being a unique human being on the planet, I feel like. 